Hi there everyone and I'm back with more, even more uh, chess games of Mikhail Tal. So in this chess game, Mikhail Tal had the white pieces and his opponent was chess grandmaster Boshko Abramovich with the black pieces. So this chess game was played in Moscow in 1982. So let's see what happened in this very exciting but not very well known chess game of Tal. So I hope you will enjoy this amazing chess game as much as I did. So you know that Mikhail Tal's chess games is not always very logical. Uh, one mistake is all it takes against Mikhail Tal to lose the chess game. So if you snooze, you lose. So let's see what happened. We have c4 and then e6, knight to c3, d5, d4. So we have the English opening but the game is transposing to the queen's gambit declined. So c takes, e takes, developing the pieces. So we are reaching to this position, knight to e5, and knight is hopping in on e5, and this is a very nice parking spot for the knight. Bishop to b7, developing, and queen to f3, knight from b to d7, and also Mikhail Tal castled. So we have a6, queen to h3 by Mikhail Tal. So you can see that Tal is aiming on h7. A knight takes knight is possible. A actually, bishop takes pawn is possible and if knight takes then queen or knight takes on d7 so it is going to win some material for white winning pawn so we have g6 a prophylactic move but then this is weakening the dark squares bishop to h6 by tal so defending the rook actually what else and then f4 bishop to d6 and the bishop is going back and the knight is pinned so the immediate threat is Knight takes knight because this knight is pinned. So if queen takes, then bishop takes knight. So bishop to e7, bishop goes back and defending. But Tal played a very obvious move. He played f5, so he wants to open the f file. And uh, this is going to be a dangerous attack, especially against Mikhail Tal. Defending this is going to be difficult. So we have c takes on d4, and some interesting tactical ideas is emerging after this move. So you can see that both of the knights is under attack. So uh, this knight is also under attack. The pawn is attacking the knight. So maybe capturing the pawn comes to mind. Tal plate. F takes on g6. Unbelievable. We have knight takes on e5. What else? Black shrug his shoulders and he captured the knight. I mean, what else? But if d takes on c3, some very interesting tactics is emerging. It is white to move. And what did Mikhail Tal solve in his mind's eye? What would you do in this position? Can you see what Mikhail Tal solve? So let me give you a few seconds. It is white to move and win. Well, it looks like the knight is defending the checkmate idea. And if, of course, bishop takes, then the knight, I believe, can take. Uh, I don't know. It is getting <laughs> pretty complicated. It is white to move. But can you see? Actually, the forced win for white. Okay, this is what Mikhail Tal saw. Queen takes on h7, actually. And, of course, if king moves, then queen takes pawn and checkmate. And what else? Knight takes. And then g takes on h7. So, if king to h8, checkmate. Uh, like this. Checkmate, bishop to h6. Uh, so, after this move, so king to h8 doesn't work because of this move, okay? So if king to f8, uh, actually there is more than one way to checkmate the king. Uh, one of them is this. And the other possibility is this, bishop to h6, checkmate. And we also have this, of course, checkmate, all of them. Is checkmate. So after g takes on h7, you might also ask what happens if king to g7. Uh, king to g7 also doesn't work uh, because of rook takes. Uh, so let me show you that. Rook takes, and this is the only move. And black is getting checkmated. Okay, so... Uh, 
okay, <laughs> it's a little bit complicated, but it's actually simple, not that uh, rocket science. So f takes on g6, and we have knight takes on e5. What's happening now? Now Mikhail Tal played. Bishop takes on f6, so eliminating the defender of h7. So bishop takes on f6, and then queen takes on h7, but after moving the king, the knight is defending the checkmate threat. But Tal captured the pawn and attacking the defender, and if moving the knight to a silly spot, let's say if knight takes bishop, then queen takes pawn, checkmate. But we have knight takes on g6, bishop takes knight, and threatening checkmate. So what else? After capturing the bishop, delayed gratification, not capturing the bishop, but lifting to rook up, and Mikhail Tal's attack gravitates to f file. So he wants to double the rooks, and the bishop is pinned. So defending with the rook, Houston, we got a problem. Doubling the rooks, and queen takes pawn, and the bishop is pinned. How to defend? So rook over, a meaningless move, Mikhail Tal captured the bishop, and this is all over. Black is falling into pieces. Black doesn't have any good defense, so the king is exposed. And you can see the attack. So this is a horrible, unplayable position for black. So this is why Abramovich resigned. So queen takes pawn is possible if rook over, then knight takes pawn, rook takes, pawn, uh, rook takes knight, then rook takes bishop is possible. So attacking the a pawn as well, as you can see. So everything is falling apart. So in this position, white is a pawn up, but uh, this position is unplayable. So this is why black resigned. But in this position, you might also ask what happens if queen to e7, then queen takes on g6, and white is two pawns up, and this bishop is also going to fall, which is pinned. Okay, but in the real chess game, we have doubling, and then simply capturing the bishop, and this is all over. This is doom and gloom. So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you have enjoyed this amazing attacking chess game of Mikhail Tal, which was not very well known, of course. Uh, so I hope to see you next time. Stay safe, take care, and bye-bye.